What's up, Sneaky Nation? Sneaky P here, back with more NBA 2K15 in our My Player mode featuring Malik Aquagbu. This is my first time doing post-game commentary, meaning I recorded the game and I edited it, and now I'm doing the audio. The other game I recorded while I was playing, um, but it would go on way too long. So the editing is a little bit new to me. I'm trying to figure out how to edit this series, make it work, make it interesting. I've gotten in my groove with Madden, but this is a little bit different, so it might take some time to really kind of find a niche with it, but... We'll give it our best shot. Now remember, this is our second game of a 10-game contract or 10-day contract featuring three games. So we really need to make an impression. We don't have that many opportunities. So when we're on the court, we're definitely going to need to bring it. Malika Quegu subbing into the game now. We are down 5.16 to 21 to the Denver Nuggets. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this one going here. We will be guarding Randy Foy. Uh, and to start things off, Roberts kicks it over to Gilchrist. And that may be that what yeah, that was Roberts. Now Malika Quaybu with the ball kicks it back out to Roberts for three and give us the assist early on here, guys. Uh, just like that, only a two-point game, 19 to 21 in the second quarter. Now Quaybu with the ball being guarded, and he passes it off to Roberts once again. Now he's gonna set the screen. Roberts cut into the basket, and that was a nice move by Roberts. He could not finish off though. Uh Quaybu back with the ball. Again, editing's a little bit patchy here guys i need to figure out a better better way of doing this so give me any advice you guys have in the comments below so i can make this uh experience a lot better kicking it out to kid gilchrist there he's going to pass it over to roberts and now quake going to set the screen roberts with a nice shot and he will miss it once again uh robinson with the ball now kicks it over to wilson chandler fakes the three chandler over to randy Foy. this is the guy regarding and defense oh what happened there the defense was so bad uh, it's going to take us a while to get those defender attributes up so we're not so laggy and uh, stiff moving. Uh, Quake Boo with the ball now at the top of the key. is going to take it right, looking for an assist here. Finds Vonley, and he will not be able to make it. Robinson with the rebound, taking it down for the Nuggets. A nice little behind the back there. Now a little crossover, kicks it underneath to Randy Foy, and he will make the easy basket. Great play by Robinson there. Uh, Roberts with the ball, Okwegbu setting the screen, and we will be setting a lot of screens early on just trying to get our teammate grade up because that is where we're going to need to impress. As you see here, Roberts scores, we get a little bit more teammate points, and uh, we're not going to be stuffing the stat sheet early on, so having a high teammate grade could be very essential to us making the team. Okwegbu with the ball now. Uh, tries a little crossover on Foy. Oh, a little fadeaway in the key, and that is good for two points. Malik Aquegbu, a nice little crossover. Randy Foy didn't know what happened. It was almost like a newborn giraffe crossover, but Randy Foy couldn't guard it either way. Uh, but Aquegbu gets two points there. I love seeing that. Definitely a nice shot. Wilson Chandler with the ball for the Nuggets, and he will kick it out to Robinson. A little pump fake here. Back to Chandler. And it's a nine-point game, so we need to have a defensive stand here. The clock is running out on the Nuggets. Robinson behind the back. That's blocked, and good team defense for the Hornets. And that's another block. There we go. A Quagbu getting involved here early on. Gotta love it. The Nuggets back with the ball now. It's 25-36. to The Nuggets have the lead again. We need to have another defensive stand here after that last one worked out pretty well. And we are guarding Nate Robinson right now. That's a tough matchup for us, especially with our uh, defensive skills so low and movement so stiff. Robinson's definitely a guy that will make us pay. But the Nuggets miss the shot, and Aquagbu gets the rebound, leading the Hornets down the court here. And he will kick it over to Noah, who will find Roberts. Now we're going to set a screen for Brian Roberts here. He'll take it left, find... Uh, Noah or on the left side back out to kid Gilchrist and Okwegbu back with the ball trying to make something happen here on a smaller target kicks it out to Roberts give us the assist and Man, I really got to get used to this uh, Editing guys. I don't know what to do in terms of basketball. I know NFL pretty well by this point But it'll take me a while to get going guys again any suggestions would be great and another assist blown by kid Gilchrist after the turnover, I was really thinking we were going to get one there. I should have found a better offensive target to pass it to. And uh, unfortunately, Kid, Gilchrist, Kid Gilchrist cannot make it. So 38-28, to 28, it's a 10-point game. And the defense on Chandler is okay. We allowed the inside pass, but we definitely got a hand in his face. He's going to make it either way. And it is 42-28 to 28 with a little under four minutes left in the half here. And another assist for Quagbu. That will be three assists, one rebound, one block, and two points. Uh, having a pretty solid game so far. I'm really pretty happy with this performance to this point. 
Um, a teammate grade a B again. It's going to take a while to get into a rhythm here. As you can see, the coach is happy with us. Good ball movement. Got three assists in limited time. And we are going to get the question here. So this is pretty cool. And we have two choices. Wouldn't be surprised or I can help him figure it out. We have to go. I wouldn't be surprised here. I can't help or I can help him figure it out. Seems like a jerk. All right, I'm okay with that answer. Sometimes you never really know what they're going to say. Back in the second half now, guys. I know the editing is a little rough. I, I noticed this while I'm doing the commentary to it. I need to figure out a better way of doing it. Um, this is going to work for this game. Next video, hopefully I have a better rhythm down uh, in terms of how to make all this work. And as you see here, we did not get in the second half at all. Ty Lawson's going to do the post-game interview as the Nuggets win. And, man, we only have one game left to make an impression. I'm actually okay with our game today. We played limited time. We uh, kind of contributed in all aspects of the game. Again, we got a block, three assists. Uh, so it wasn't a bad game. Our performance is only fair. Our teammate grade a, a B. Uh, we got twice the coins with our difficulty modifier. But, you know, it, it's going to be a process, guys. Let's go ahead and upgrade some points here. And hopefully we can make some significant changes. Because, again, we have one game left on this 10-day contract. We need to make an impression um, I'm again. I'm okay uh, in our role player type mentality that we have. I don't want to be that guy that makes the All Star team my rookie season. I don't know. I don't find that appealing. I really want this game to be a grind. So I want to be a role player. I want to contribute in the little ways, and I feel like we did that that last game. So hopefully, hopefully, you know, the coach is going to be okay with that. The GM is going to be okay with that, and keep us on this roster. We have one more chance to make an impression, and it'll be against the Washington Wizards. A uh, team with a very good young backcourt. They have Bradley Beal. They have John Wall and uh, Paul Pierce as well now. So definitely three players uh, will probably end up guarding at least two of them throughout this game. Uh, if we're playing with them, I guess. We could be very likely be guarding the bench players. But it's going to be a tough matchup for the Hornets. We need to get a win here. So let's go ahead and tip things off. And the tip is going to the Wizards, but let's go ahead and sub into the game now. So just under three minutes left in the first quarter, Malika Kwaku with the ball, cuts back inside, finds Cody Zeller, and that is the way to start off the game. Unfortunately, Zeller gets fouled there, so we're not going to get the assist, and that is a bummer because any stat that we can attribute right now or get right now is definitely going to help us make the team. Uh, so we will be guarding Martel Webster, and we're going to try to go ahead and set a screen for Neil here. Neil cutting back into the paint and a little fadeaway, and that is good for us. Set the screen for the score. Neil with a nice little fadeaway there. I like that. So back on defense now. We are losing our man right off the bat. Malika Quagbu finally finds Webster here. John Wall with the ball, and he is just kind of sitting up there waiting for something to develop. A little screen for Webster here, and Malika Quagbu dees him up right off the bat. That is what we want to see. And a nice little pick from Nene, and Malik Okwegbu forces Webster to pass it. John Wall, though, unbelievable. He is too good, drives right to the basket. Malik Okwegbu with the ball, and he misses the layup. Cody Zeller there to clean up the board and get the putback, but we cannot be missing those layups. I'm definitely going to have to work on improving our inside scoring so that doesn't happen again. Back on D now for Okwegbu and the Hornets, only down one point, about 40 seconds to go in the first quarter here. Again, we're on limited time, so we're going to have to make something happen. But John Wall is going ape right now. A huge dunk, and the uh, Hornets will have the ball back with just about 17 seconds to go. The shot clock is winding down, though, and a bad pass by Malika Quagbu. Uh In the second quarter now, he will find Marvin Williams, who kicks it out to Roberts. Roberts back out to Quagbu. 
trying to drive into the middle here, but there is nowhere to go. We're going to kick it over to Gary Neal, shooting the three as the shot clock expires, but no such luck. Marvin Williams will grab their offensive rebound and the putback. So two-point game uh, in the second quarter now, and another assist. That was a great pass to Marvin Williams there. I say another assist. It was our first, but... I like to count the Cody Zella one from earlier anyway. B minus teammate grade. As long as we can get this up, we have a good shot of making the team. It's just going to take some time, but Paul Pierce uh, gets by a Quaigbu there. He did get the pass. Malika Quaigbu recovered nicely and defended the play well, but Paul Pierce will get the offensive rebound and the putback. So Roberts now kicking it over to Cody Zeller. Zeller will miss it. Equagbu gets the ball, and he will miss the putback, grab the offensive rebound again. So grabbing two offensive rebounds is nice. I really wish we would have made our second layup, though. So two missed layups early on for Equagbu. Definitely not good. Cody Zeller in the paint, and he will make a nice turnaround there. So 45 to 47. Now it's 47 to 49. The Wizards have the lead under two minutes to go before halftime here. And Malika Quagbu with the steal. He's going down the court. I thought that might have been a foul. We'll kick it over to Gary Neal. Neal with the little fadeaway. Give us the assist. A nice steal and assist from a Quagbu there. And that will be it for the first half. The Wizards with a four-point lead. So definitely within our reach right now. We have not played in the second half yet. I'm really hoping we can get in the second half here. It's going to be big for Malika Quagbu, kind of showing that they trust him a little bit more. Obviously, that's going to go a long way in him in terms of him making the roster. Uh, and we'll see how it goes. Okay, guys, let's focus and get down to business. Now, here's a few things I took away from the first half. The top thing for me has been that we've come up with some decent buckets because we made a savvy play on D, caused the turnover, and got an easy scoring chance. I want to see more of that. Our defense leading straight into our offense. I'll give you a compliment, though. The ball movement's been excellent. Love how many buckets we're getting off assists. And I'm taking the shackles off of you offensively. Let's open this up. Get the ball up the court as quickly as possible and see if they can keep up with us. All right, guys. Let's get out there and play a good second half. Wise words from the coach there. And as you can see, we are subbing in for the second half. That is huge. They're showing a little bit more faith than us. We're down by six with about four minutes and 30 seconds to go here in the third. We will be guarding Andre Miller. And we just need to stop him from making plays. Gary Neal with the ball. And he is going to get a screen from McQuaigbu here. Now he's cutting over to the middle. Another screen. Driving to the basket. Kicks it over to Biombo who finds McQuaigbu. And one perfect play by McQuaigbu. The pick and roll worked beautifully there. And the free throw is no good though. He cannot convert on the three point play. But the fact that he took the hit still made the shot. That's pretty big. I like seeing that from him early on. Hey, a little screen again. We're setting screens like crazy, guys. That's pretty much all we're doing to kind of increase our points here. And a Quagbu underneath his third missed layup of the game. That hurts us a lot. And had he made that, we'd have a 50% field goal uh, percentage. But no such luck. Back on defense now. Webster's going to kick it down to Nene. Nene, Webster is cut into the basket. Uh, luckily, a Quagbu barely cut it off. Andre Miller going to the hole, and he will score. But, again, we're supposed to be guarding him, but we had a switch at some point. So, Quagbu back on defense. This time he is guarding Webster. And Wallace cutting inside. Back out to Webster. Nice defense from a Quagbu there. Unfortunately for the Hornets, the Wizards will get the ball back, but the third quarter will expire before they can do anything with it. So, just like that, we are down by a lot. And, as you can see, we had a good fourth quarter, but we are still going to fall to the Wizards. Uh, by four points. Malika Quaibu, not a great game for him there. Definitely the second game was better. So it's going to be interesting to see if we made the roster, if we showed that we could contribute enough for them to see us as an asset to this team. And, you know, I'm a little bit nervous about it. Let's go ahead and see what they have to say. Looks like someone stole your puppy. Yeah, man, shoot, we had that in our back pocket and let it get away. You want to hear a secret? Yeah, sure. Key to lasting in this league is never get too high when you win and you never get too low when you lose. You 
can't feel the highest highs till you felt the lowest lows. You do that, you're gonna burn out before your first contract expires. Hey, I'd rather burn out than fade away, old school. Oh, I was not trying to go with the jerk response there. I was really just kind of hoping he'd show some passion, but instead he kind of just slaps out Jefferson in the face. Uh, definitely not good in terms of me making the team. Let's see what the GM's going to say. Come on. Who died? Look a little nervous. Well, I heard it's never a good thing to be called into the GM's office, especially the day your 10-day contract is up. So if you're going to release me, I would just appreciate it if you did it quickly. <laughs> I'm going to be brutally honest, kid. You, uh, you haven't done enough to secure a, a regular roster spot. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. You have done enough to secure another 10-day contract, though. Excuse me? Yeah, I'm going to give you another shot to uh, prove you belong in this league permanently, huh? Hey, you won't regret it either. I'm gonna make it awfully hard for you to let me go. Uh, I hope so. Look, at contracts on my secretary's desk. You go sign that on your way out. Get out of here. All right, thank you. All right. Where's my lunch? Oh, we made the team. I was so nervous about that, but luckily it worked out for us. Uh, I mean, we have another 10-day contract, so we haven't made it yet, but that's definitely promising. I have a lot more faith in us now. It's going to give us more opportunities. We're getting a little bit more minutes, um, so if we can continue to increase our uh, attributes here again, inside score, we missed too many layups in that last game, and let's go ahead and fix this one. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Okay, so... Uh, I know this one was a little bit rough, guys. I'm, I'm adjusting to this new editing format with basketball. I haven't kind of gotten my handle on it yet. So hopefully you guys have some patience with me. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Again, any suggestions, please let me know. And I'll see you next time.